Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So sorry about not uploading a video in so long. I was just focusing on assignments and also I took holidays as a bit of a break. Now I'm going at you with a book haul, more specifically a WH Smith book haul. I used up the last like £30 of my pocket, not pocket money, my Christmas money and I bought some books. Two of the books that I bought were pre-orders, well technically three, but one of the pre-orders was like January the 7th and I was ordering them on like the 4th, so it was like, yeah. I think it's like the 8th today. Yes. No. Yes. No. Yes. Friday's the 15th, which means Monday's the 10th, so yeah, it is the 8th. So technically it came out pre-order yesterday but I received it a few days ago and yeah the two pre-orders pre I got I paid for one's February one's August but I want to do a book haul and before I get into what books I have make sure you hit that subscribe button down below because I upload lifestyle videos I create to, related to like books the odd baby name video and just tips for advice and just organising vlogs and all that so if that is the sort of thing that you like then make sure you hit the subscribe button because we are trying to get this channel to 370 subscribers by the end of January so please make that happen so go on click that subscribe button and also make sure you like this video if you love book hauls and let's just get into the books. So going from the top of my pile of the ones that's in the thumbnail. The first book I got is Give Me the Child by Mel McGrath. Actually I should get like this sheet that has like the costs on just so you know how much I paid for them. Basically the one the pre-order that was like the 7th of January it actually came first and that one didn't have a like price on so I've got my iPad or the buds. Give Me the Child by Mel McGrath was £2.76. Now this was like majorly discounted obviously. Like you wouldn't typically buy a book for £2.76. On the back of the book it says £7.99 so I'm going with that. Originally, so it originally should have been like £7.99. When I was purchasing books I was looking on Waterstones and WH Smith to see which was cheaper. WH Smith was cheaper. So, yeah. Give me the child. It says, Imagine your doorbell rings in the middle of the night. You open the door to the police. With them is your husband's 11 year old love child, a daughter you never knew he had. Her mother has been found dead in their South London flat. She has nowhere else to go. Would you take her in? And it just sounds so interesting. It's a psychological thriller yeah I believe so well I say 7 99 but it's the recommended price but that's what we're going with but it just sounds like a really interesting book and on the front it says be careful who he lets in and it just has the like on the front I can tell sort of like by vibe whether or not it's going to be something that I enjoy why is this oh it's telling me that i crushed the 250 step thanks i'm waiting for a specific email which isn't coming through but yeah i just i can tell sort of tell by like the front and like the vibe as to whether or not it's going to be something i enjoy and yeah some of these books that i bought i was kind of like umming and ahhing whether or not i should get them my not like my basket was actually originally a bit bigger but then I realised there were other books my nana has and yeah I know one of the books my nana has so yeah but yeah it just sounded like a really interesting read then I got Invisible Girl by Lisa Jewell I got the family upstairs for christmas i also have then she was gone i got that 
I, I want to say years ago from my nana but it is it says midnight in an area of urban wasteland where cats hunt and foxes shriek a girl is watching when sapphire maddox was 10 something terrible happened and she carried the pain of it ever since the man she thought was going to heal her didn't and now she hides learning his secrets invisible in the shadows Owen Peck is invisible too. He's never had a girlfriend. He's never even had a friend. Nobody sees him. Nobody cares. But when Sapphire goes missing from opposite his house on Valentine's night, suddenly the world seems to be watching Owen, accusing him, holding him responsible for Sapphire's disappearance. And I bought this just based on like how much I've enjoyed, how much I enjoyed Then She Was Gone and also how much I'm enjoying reading Family Upstairs. I haven't finished it but I'm enjoying it so, so much and I remember when I read Then She Was Gone I remember like how quick I went through the book like she is such a good author so I knew that picking up her book is would be worth my money so and that was 5.44 that was discounted I remember all of these being discounted in some way whether it was like majorly or just like a little bit then I've got the house we grew up in this was the pre-order from like the 7th of January it doesn't say on the sheet it came with how much I paid for it I'm gonna check my emails to how much it costed however Invisible Girl was recommended to be $8.99 so I got that a few pounds cheaper since I paid five fifty four. I think they had it cheap at like seven something on the WH Smith's website anyway. On the WH Smith website it was seven thirty seven. So it, I think it was like one of my more expensive books. Actually, I think it was the most expensive book. And so that's how much I paid for it. But because of the family upstairs I knew again like with Invisible Girl I knew that buying her book was not gonna be a waste of my money and it's got the vibe I like so and so there was no question and it says picture an Easter weekend when tragedy strikes so unexpected so devastating that no one can talk about it the years pass the children become adults gradually they use they lose touch as the secret between them tears them apart and then something happens that calls them back to the house they grew up in and to what really happened that Easter weekend all those years ago and it just sounded so interesting then this book is one of the ones that in a way I was kind of umming and umming and ahhing over but this is The Hunters by Chris Kuzneski, I believe I'm pronouncing it that incorrect. And I paid $1.94 for this, so again, it's a majorly discounted product. And on the back it says $8.99, so it would have been about that originally. But it says The Hunters, a billionaire philanthropist, hires an elite team, an ex soldier. A historian it says an historian that annoys me it's not an historian you only put an when it's before a vowel so a historian a computer whiz a weapons expert and a thief to find the world's most legendary treasures the mission fearing a German victory in World War one the Romanian government signed a deal with Russia to safeguard the country's treasures in 1916 two trains full of gold and ancient ancient artifacts were sent to the Kremlin's underground vaults but in the turmoil of war the treasure was scattered and lost almost a century later the hall is valued at over 3.5 billion dollars despite hundreds of attempts to find it its location has remained a mystery until now can the hunters find the treasure and succeed where all others have failed and it just sounds so interesting it's like an, an adventure thriller like artifact finding thriller and recently I bought a few of those and it just sounded really interesting and also at £1.94 I thought why not then I 
bought Inca Gold by Clive Cussler, which was £2.33. It's... I have three others in his Dirk Pit. No, not three. I believe two. I have two others in his Dirk Pit, like, series. They're, like, standalone books, but in a series involving the same person, protagonist. It says, it on the top it says action-packed adventure. It says, a call for help from a stricken archaeological expedition brings Dirk Pitt to a sacred well high in the Andes. There he confronts a band of ruthless art thieves who plunder ancient sites for their precious artifacts. But soon Dirk Pitt faces even graver danger as he searches for a lost Spanish galleon and hunts for a fabulous hoard of Inca gold. And in desperate race against in desperate race against time, Pitt must track down a sacred site before the riches, richest prize of to man is lost to the world forever. And it just sounded so interesting. I know I haven't read any of his other one, any of the other ones in his Dirk Pitt sort of like series thing, but I just thought, why not? And it sounded so interesting. Then. The final book that I've got is The Three by Sarah Lotz. It says, Black Thursday, the day that will never be forgotten. The day that four passenger planes crash at almost exactly the same moment at four different points around the globe. There are only four, sub four survivors. Three are children who emerge from the wreckage seemingly unhurt, but they are not unchanged. And the fourth is Pamela May Donald, who lives just long enough to record a voice message on her phone. A message that will change the world. The message is a warning. And it just sounds really interesting. On the back there's a review from Stephen King that says, Really wonderful, hard to put down and vastly entertaining. I didn't look at that, but you know. <sighs> and again, this one I was umming and ahhing. Should I, shouldn't I? It was 194, yeah. And I just thought, like, how like simple it is. Like, you see, like this artwork, how simple. And it was like, and like I said, I was umming and ahhing, but then I thought, well, it's 194. I like to get make the most of my money and things that's discounted. Like, why not? So I bought it and yeah, I'm probably not going to get to all of those this year because I have like 21 books already, like 21 new books, whether that's I've received them at Christmas, I've bought them or they're like second hand from my Nana, like my Nana's given them to me. So I've got loads of books to get through. I'll probably get through them during the summer because um, I'm not going to have assignment work and college work and etc. So yeah. But I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Make sure you hit that subscribe button because I'm getting back to my Sunday at 8pm uploads now that I'm sort of like back into the full swing of things. Like I'm back out of like the Christmas holiday mood and it's now on to you like I've done some assignments and even though one big assignment is due in on Monday apart from that I've got a few weeks respite so I'm gonna try and catch up on content getting content out there might be a few extra uploads during the week but yeah make sure you hit that subscribe button to get to you to get this channel to 370 make sure you hit you hit a like if you like this if you liked this book haul and also so that more people who like book hauls can see this book haul make sure you comment down below any videos you want to see from me whether you want me to do like a dedicated review or reading vlog on that book or whatever or just any videos in general and i will see you guys in my next video bye guys